our students and the audience I am greet you and you are welcome I will go to talk about another important topics in orthodontics which is class 2 division 2 mad occlusion these are a part of series of lectures submitted to fifth stage students at College of Dentistry University as we said about class 2 mad occlusion Class 2 mal occlusion can be divided into two main types either class 2 division 1 mal occlusion or class 2 division 2 mal occlusion depending on the incisor inclination when the upper incisors are inclined forward it's called class 2 division 1 mal occlusion and when the upper incisors are inclined backward so it lead to class 2 division 2 mal occlusion so class 2 division 2 mild occlusion is the second most common type of class 2 mild occlusion that can be assessed in anterior posterior plane of the dentition such type of mild occlusion constitute about 10 percent of the population in addition to that there are different features and etiological factors that contribute to such type of mild occlusion these factors are somewhat different from the previous type of mild occlusion which is the class 2 division 1 mild occlusion before we are going to talk about management of such type of mild occlusion it is very important to know what are the occlusal features of this type of mild occlusion starting with angle classification of mild occlusion by depending on the molar as well as the canine relationship as you see here there is a molar relationship and the canine relationship are class 2 relation in addition to that we can see that the British standard classification of mild occlusion there is a class 2 incisor relationship but there is a retroclination of the incisors backward so why we call such type of mild occlusion is a class 2 division 2 mild occlusion also we can see a deep overbite either traumatic or bi-traumatic overbite and such type of mild occlusion due to anterior posterior discrepancy between the upper and the lower arch in sagittal plane so most commonly there is a relative discrepancy in the transverse relationship between the upper and the lower arch leading to either scissor bite or it is called a lingual bite most commonly affecting the premolars or the first premolars such type of mal occlusion is different from any type of mal occlusion in anterior posterior plane uh, this type of mal occlusion is occurred as a result of a combination of different etiological factors starting with skeletal factor class 2 division 2 most commonly associated with mild class 2 skeletal pattern in anterior posterior or in sagittal plane that is mean the a and b angle it is slightly increased but it can be associated with the class 1 skeletal pattern so when you view such patient from the lateral profile you can see that the patient is having a straight facial profile so you can expect that the patient having either a class 1 normal occlusion or a class 1 mal occlusion by depending on the extra oral examination but when you see the patient intra orally or when we or when you see the intra oral examination you can see that the patient having a class 2 definitely a class 2 division 2 mal occlusion so such type of mal occlusion is most commonly associated with mild class 2 skeletal pattern but when such a skeletal factor combined with the soft tissue factor can produce class 2 division 2 mal occlusion as we discuss such phenomena by the next slide so such mild class 2 skeletal pattern in anterior posterior or in sagittal plane especially when it's combined 
with a reduction in vertical dimension this will lead to a relatively high lip line unless the patient is already associated with absolutely high lip line so this would lead to a continuous force by the lower lip acting on the upper incisors in other words there is a continuous force producing by the lower lip at passive as well as in dynamic conditions of the lip so the lower lip is responsible for another subdivision of class 2 division 2 malocclusion either it is called class 2 division 2 atypical type or a class 2 division 2 typical type when it's called a typical type there is all of the upper incisors are retroclined and typical type only the two central incisors are retroclined backward so it's called typical type that is mean when the lower lip acting in front of the upper incisors lead to their retroclination so it's called a typical type but when the lower lip acting only on two central incisor the lateral incisors due to their size or they are reduced in vertical dimension compared with the central incisor so they are commonly escape from the action of the lower lip leading to their either proclined or slightly there is a mesial rotation but the two central incisor are affecting by the action of the lower lip leading to the retroclination backward the other etiological factor that contributing to class 2 division 2 malocclusion is the dental factor as we said in any type of malocclusion there is an different etiological factors as well as occlusal features there is a concept stated that in class 2 division 2 malocclusion there is an a crown root angulation that is mean the crown is lingually displaced leading to such type of malocclusion but if this concept is true is commonly due to the action of the lower lip in front of the upper incisors while they are erupting during the eruption period so such factor or the dental factor is most commonly responsible for the deepening of the bite rather than retroclination of the upper incisors so how the dental factor is responsible for deepening of the bite commonly as we said in class 2 division 2 malocclusion there is a forward displacement of the maxilla as well as there is a retroclination of the upper incisors backward such two factors or features commonly responsible to a lack of occlusal or incisor stop to the lower incisors so the dentoalveolar part of the lower jaw in the incisor region it will lead to continuous over growth occlusally or incisory especially when it's combined with forward growth of the lower jaw as well as there is a reduction in vertical dimension so the lower incisors can be overgrowth upward or incisory and there is a lingual tipping backward leading to a deep overbite or traumatic overbite we can conclude it that class 2 division 2 malocclusion is the second most common type of class 2 malocclusion that can be assessed in anterior posterior plane such type of malocclusion constitute about 10% of the population in which the upper incisors are retroclined most commonly due to the effect of the lower lip as there is 
high lip line especially when there is an reduction within the vertical dimension and there is a mild class 2 skeletal pattern keeping in your mind that the other factor dental factor responsible for deepening of the bite rather than the class 2 division 2 itself at the end thank you and good luck